2023 has really been a terrible year for Marvel. Pretty much everything that they've been putting out has been losing money at the box office, except maybe Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. But even their Disney Plus shows have been failing, and it's been getting so bad that the Marvels has become the worst box office bomb for the studio. And now we got this news where actor Jonathan Majors has now been officially convicted over the domestic violence allegations levied against him by former girlfriend Grace Jabari. And to be fair, at least to his credit, he did beat out the felony charges, but still he was convicted over two misdemeanor charges. And Marvel doesn't want to actually have someone like that working for them, so they did drop him from the movies. And up until this point, they've been taking kind of a wait and see approach to all this, like, you know, innocent until proven guilty and i think that is a fair stance but i don't think they're doing that for any principled reason but just for the simple fact that he was king the conqueror they're building up the next avengers movie surrounding king the conqueror and having him be the future baddie of the mcu and now it's looking like they're gonna have to try to change course and i don't think they know what they're doing over at the studio marvel has two choices it could take now it could recast the part, although it is not clear how many actors would be attracted to a role from which one actor was so publicly fired I don't personally think that would be an issue for this role. The other course is to redevelop its plan and refocus on a brand new villain while Marvel sources are mum. There is indication that the studio has already been doing just that. Now, Marvel has replaced people before, uh, not really in recent years, unless you count Harrison Ford replacing William Hurt because William Hurt uh, unfortunately passed away. But in the early phases of the MCU, they replaced Terrence Howard with Don Cheadle. They replaced Edward Norton with Mark Ruffalo. So maybe they would be open to recasting. But one of the information that's coming out from this uh, in November, Marvel hired Loki creator Monica Waldron to work on a new draft of what was once called King Dynasty, but is now being referred to as Avengers 5, according to sources. It's not saying who these sources are, but Hollywood Reporter is reporting on this, so I'll just go with that. And it is possible that they're rewriting stuff to try to kind of steer the ship away from Kang and trying to just get rid of Kang altogether. Or maybe they're going to try to rewrite it to justify the difference of why he doesn't look the same or something like, I mean, I don't think you really need to do that personally. If you're going to recast them, just recast them. But I think if they're going to go through the effort of actually bringing in a new writer to try to rework the script, then maybe they are going to try to figure out something else to do. And the fact that the matter that they dropped King dynasty from it, or just now referring to it as Avengers five does indicate that they're going to try to, do something else and the question is what are they going to do and we do have some information coming out of marvel i mean this is from a variety report that came out in the past where dr doom was kind of floated as an idea to replace king the conqueror in a report by variety it's now been reported that at this particular retreat back in september alternative arrangements are being made with plans discussed to swiftly bring in a new villain that would represent an avengers level threat the name mentioned in the article is that of dr doom Doctor Doom is a famous villain for the Fantastic Four, which hasn't been established in the MCU yet, but the Fantastic Four will get their movie in May of 2025, at least if it stays on schedule right now. And Avengers 5, which was previously the King Dynasty, isn't supposed to be released until summer, spring or summer of 26. So it's possible that they could kind of rework the King Dynasty to include Doctor Doom as kind of the next big villain, similar to, I guess, how... Loki was the villain for the first Thor movie and then became the villain of the first Avengers movie. I mean, it's possible that's kind of the route they're going to take with this, establish Doctor Doom in the Fantastic Four movie, then bring him back for Avengers 5 or something like that. I mean, who, who knows? I mean, I'm not sure what they're going to be doing at this point, uh, and I don't think Marvel really knows what they're doing at this point. But either way, this news from Jonathan Majors is really a blow for them, and especially coming at a time when they really didn't need it right now. And Either way, I mean, I don't think this is going to help them. Uh, I mean, I think the MCU is basically done at this point. Even if they do make the occasional good movie, I don't think it's going to salvage the franchise and it's not going to return to the glory that it once had.